इंग्लिश and as we call it it today's time right from journalism to advertising we always talk about the target audience that we have to identify it now the target audience of that newspaper was the europeans and the british people living in india so obviously no local reporting concept could work nobody was interested as to what is happening in india all the or uh, readers of the newspaper they were interested in knowing what is happening in europe and since there was no technology the kind of technology that we have today so uh, the content were uh, were all uh, such activities which are happening in europe and since uh, uh, british people and other people from other european countries living in india they could not know as to what is happening in their native country Uh, because there was no such technology, so they were waiting for two months, three months for uh, the newspapers from Europe reaching in uh, reaching India. So what this uh, Hickey did, he was uh, bringing all those newspapers, transporting all those newspapers from outside, or picking up contents uh, of importance and reproducing those contents in his newspaper. Right now, the the other thing is how to deliver the newspaper. Now there was nothing of the kind that we uh, find in today's time. That the, either the subscription based uh, uh, system has to be there, or the newspapers need to be delivered at the doorsteps. So that kind of system was not their delivery mechanism. So he had his own system where in he had a certain number publishing certain number of copies, and were getting those copies distributed to that. limited audience right now when this technology changed now another important thing i must tell you that right from this uh, uh, hickey's gazette it was a commercial venture so we must understand that many people talk about ki bahut commercialization ho gaya hai bahut business hai aur koi mission nahi hai that's completely unfounded right from the beginning of uh, media or journalism in india it was a business enterprise he he did it for making profits he could make profits or not that's another thing but it was all profits and even from this newspaper advertising was there so advertising is again not a new thing which has been introduced now. now i told you these examples to understand as to how we can understand today's media or the developments which are taking place in today's time now from that time till date uh, if we talk about newspaper because i will come to radio but then to give you a background to give you a perspective these things are necessary to be told now technology wise uh the the printing was of a very primitive type we are used to be treadle machines and all which could uh, print at a, at a very uh, slow speed so for about a century or so the newspapers were mostly uh, the monthlies then newspapers became uh, weeklies but as the technology changed the newspapers turned to daily newspapers that was in the Uh, middle of the 19th century right now in today's time if you look uh, at the kind of technology which is there the offset printing machines are there and since the offset pre- offset printing technology has arrived since that time the circulation has got a spurt because we have a technology with the help of which we can publish hundreds and thousands of newspaper in the minimum possible time right so it's all about uh, technology the newspaper the print media got a spurt uh, got uh, the the number uh, acceleration in numbers when the technology came now coming to radio now what happened to radio the radio started uh, almost the same time in india when it started in uh, other parts of the world 
uh, because if we look at India, uh, whatever development we find in, in, in today's time or the recent time, but then technology has been mostly coming from uh, the advanced countries, from the developed countries. So same was with the printing technology. Even today in printing technology, most of the printing machines come from Germany. Uh, so uh, in, in radio also, the, the radio broadcasting, the technology came from outside. But then uh, in India, the uh, radio stations were uh, set up in the private sector. Now, uh, I will tell you both the things, the technology, uh, the growth which happened in radio, uh, the, the change in the content uh, from that time uh, to this time, which is uh, almost more than a hundred years of journey. Uh, radio in India came in the private sector. Interestingly, it is again mostly in the private sector. So it's a journey from private sector to private sector. So this is complete a misconception. If uh, any one of you feel that now it's in the private sector and that is how these kind of changes are happening. It is started in the private sector. Then the British government took over. And after British uh, government left, then obviously it was handed over to the government of India. And then government of India brought a lot of changes uh, in the uh, 90s uh, of the last century. Uh, and then uh, some, some, some uh, partial privatization happened. Uh, then all these uh, private FM channels happened. And now it's a, uh, besides the Prasar Bharti, it's all about private channels. Prasar Bharti. Uh, is uh, on paper is an autonomous organization, uh, but uh, for all practical purposes, uh, it is controlled uh, by the government from the back door. Not talking about the technology, how technology has impacted. When radio broadcasting happened uh, in India, initially it was terrestrial broadcasting, and uh, even today, the the most of the radio broadcasting is the terrestrial broadcast. Uh, why it continues to be so? Uh, because satellite, when satellite communication started in India, uh, it was adopted uh, as a technology uh, for the dissemination of the content uh, by television channels, but not by radio channels. It happened, I mean, for some years it happened. This experiment was done at the international level where in satellite communication uh, was being used for radio broadcasting, but that was expensive. Now, here comes another point along with technology is that how much expenses are involved when you're using a technology, right? Uh, so when we when we compare, even in the case of television, I will uh, touch upon television as well. Even in the case of television, and we try to equate both radio and television in terms of terrestrial broadcasting and in terms of satellite broadcasting or satellite communication. If I firstly tell you about television, because you are more familiar with television, I believe, than radio in today's time. Uh, we, we all watch television. Now, uh, it is through satellite communication, through satellite, whether uh, we have a uh, dish antenna, or uh, sorry, uh, whether we have a cable connection, uh, or whether we have this uh, through Geo TV, I mean, all this uh, uh, internet based uh, platforms. Now, it all has a cost. Suppose we have a Geo connection, we are giving thousands. 1,000 rupees, 1,500 rupees in a month. Now, what about the people who cannot afford this? So, technology, everybody wants to have the latest technology, but then one has to have that kind of money in his or her pocket to pay for that technology. Same with the, with the, with the mobile phones and all. So, uh, so, in television, people were ready and people are ready to pay for using the latest technology. But in radio, people were never ready to pay uh, for using the uh, radio broadcast. And this is true right from 1927 till 2023. I mean, why this uh, happened or why this is happening, uh, this is also, I mean, we can understand from the, uh, from the business, uh, from the media economics uh, point of view. We all in a habit of not paying anything for listening to radio which in a way has hampered the growth of radio in India. 
अभी भी हम बहुत सारे लोगों के मोबाइल में रेडियो होता है तो आप फ्री में ही सुनना चाहते हैं प्राइवेट एफ रेडियो स्टेशन जितने लोग भी सुनते हैं चाहे घर पे चाहे मोबाइल में चाहे कार में नो बडी इज पेइंग फॉर दैट बट वेन यू आर वॉचिंग ए टेलीविजन चैनल यू आर ऑलवेज पेइंग फॉर दैट Right. So this uh, cost versus technology. This uh, is a major aspect which you need to understand when you are trying to understand radio, when you are trying to understand television. Right. So in television, when this uh, <coughs> uh, uh, satellite uh, came, uh, so that is how we we started using this term from cable TV to satellite TV and all. And now this internet-based IP TV and this uh, all this technology is uh, being used. Now, what happened in radio? In radio, uh, why this terrestrial broadcasting is is still there? Why even television? Television means uh, uh, one aspect of this: Doordarshan uh, or even Lok Sabha. Uh, Rajya Sabha Television. They are available on terrestrial broadcasting. Terrestrial broadcasting means that uh, the broadcasting is being done through transmitters, and then the DTH is being used for further, uh, further uh, distributing those uh, contents. So both the technologies are being used at the same time. The 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 transmitters are being used, and at the same time the DTH. is being used which is a digital based technology so that is how if you know that prasar bharti has a dtx service right so uh, what happens with the help of this uh, dtx service <coughs> prasar bharti is making contents of all uh, akashvani radio stations uh, from all over india to us uh, on their apps or on their websites So earlier it was not possible. I mean, here you you understand this very carefully. The impact of technology. Now, what was happening uh, till thirty years back? That if we want, if I want to listen to a particular radio station, suppose I want to listen to uh, to Delhi radio stations uh, living in Mumbai, that was not possible. हर जो रेडियो का बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट था ऑल इंडिया रेडियो का विच इज नाउ नेम्ड एज आकाशवाणी एज नो मोर ऑल इंडिया रेडियो टर्म बीइंग यूज्ड सो सो पहले क्या था कि जो पूरा कॉन्सेप्ट था आकाशवाणी का वो था सिटी बेस्ड ब्रॉडकास्टिंग विच इज अगेन द सेम थिंग इन प्राइवेट एफएम स्टेशंस भोपाल रेडियो स्टेशन लखनऊ रेडियो स्टेशन हैदराबाद रेडियो स्टेशन हर शहर का रेडियो स्टेशन सो इनिशियली इट वॉज द कैपिटल सिटीज ऑफ ऑल द स्टेट्स एंड दे हैव ए लिमिटेड एरिया जहां पर वो उसको सुना जा सकता था डिपेंडिंग ऑन द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द ट्रांसमीटर सो इट कुड बी फिफ्टी किलोमीटर रेडियस इट कुड बी हंड्रेड किलोमीटर रेडियस इट कुड बी टू हंड्रेड किलोमीटर रेडियस जहां पर पावरफुल ट्रांसमीटर्स थे इवन कुड बी द थ्री हंड्रेड किलोमीटर रेडियस उतने ही एरिया में सुने जाते थे सो so, जो हम लोकल ब्रॉडकास्टिंग uh, की अभी बात करते हैं जो प्राइवेट एफ एम अगेन इज ए लोकल एग्जाम्पल लाइक अगर दिल्ली का जो एफ एम मिर्ची है तो वो अलग होगा बॉम्बे का है मिर्ची है तो अलग होगा दिस इज अगेन दिस इज एन ओल्ड कॉन्सेप्ट इन इन ए न्यू फॉर्मेट राइट बट नाउ दिस इज नो मोर देयर विद द एडवेंट ऑफ इंटरनेट इंटरनेट इज ए टेक्नोलॉजी विच हैज ट्रांसफॉर्म एवरी so with the help of internet now it is possible ki agar main bhopal ka rehne wala hu aur bombay mein rehta hu to main bhopal ka jo akashwani kendra hai wahan se jo program chal raha hai main sun sakta hu to jahan tak hum reach ki baat karte hain media mein ab now reach ka koi matlab nahi raha internet ke right to sara kuch transform ho gaya radio bhi transform ho gaya television bhi transform ho gaya hamare purane concept bhi obsolete ho gaye jo local broadcasting ka concept tha कम्युनिटी बेस्ड ब्रॉडकास्टिंग का कॉन्सेप्ट था कम्युनिटी रेडियो स्टेशन का कॉन्सेप्ट था इंटरनेट ने इन सारे कॉन्सेप्ट को बदल दिया क्योंकि अब कम्युनिटी बेस्ड कुछ रहा नहीं सिटी बेस्ड कुछ रहा नहीं हमारा सपोज अगर आई गिव यू एग्जांपल फ्रॉम कम्युनिटी रेडियो स्टेशन इफ यू आर अवेयर एज टू वॉट इज कम्युनिटी रेडियो स्टेशन कॉन्सेप्ट वेयर इन Uh, certain NGOs can set up their radio stations. Uh, universities or colleges can uh, set up their radio stations. And the, what is the objective? That that broadcasting should be available to the community. But now, 
what is happening those contents through podcasting are available even to a person sitting in the us so content ki reach itni badh gayi ki jo basic concept community radio station ka hai jaise suppose abhi to du ka band ho gaya du ka community radio station tha delhi university ka now usko new york mein baith ke unke alumni sunte the now that is possible because technology ki wajah se ab radio broadcasting ek next step pe chala gaya which we all know as podcasting right so even podcasting is possible now podcasting se kya hua one नई डिजिटल टेक्नोलॉजी की मदद से रीच बढ़ गई रीच बढ़ने के साथ साथ कंटेंट मैंने जब विक्की का एग्जांपल दिया था आई टू यू टू थिंग्स वन इज द कंटेंट एंड अदर इज द डिसिमिनेशन डिलीवरी मैकेनिज्म द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑन विच द डिसिमिनेशन इज हैपनिंग नाउ आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट टेक्नोलॉजी ने क्या किया कि उसका जो रीच थी वो बहुत वाइड कर दी और जो कंटेंट की बात है कंटेंट में जैसे पॉडकास्टिंग आर यू फैमिलियर विद दिस पॉडकास्टिंग इन एवरीथिंग आई बिलीव तो पॉडकास्टिंग ने क्या किया पॉडकास्टिंग ने जो पुराने टाइप के कंटेंट थे जो बहुत रिजिड फॉर्मेट्स हुआ करते थे आकाशवाणी के उन फॉर्मेट्स में नई लाइफ ले आए न्यू थिंग्स व्हिच हैव बीन इन्फ्यूज्ड इन दोज ओल्ड कन्वेंशनल फॉर्मेट्स तो अब जो रेडियो के प्रोग्राम है या जो 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 ऑडियो तो फॉर्मेट में जो प्रोग्राम है वो अब पुराने टाइप के नहीं रहे उसमें नई नई चीजें आ गई right now iske alawa what uh, uh, other thing happened like uh, if you would have seen the man ki baat example theek hai man ki baat started as a radio program it was conceived as a radio program which was being aired on akashwani but what happened later on it, now it is available on every platform आपको टेलीविजन पे भी वो प्रोग्राम मिल रहा है आपको डिजिटल में भी मिल रहा है साइमिल्टेनियसली कई लैंग्वेजेस में मिल रहा है तो क्या हुआ सिर्फ टेक्नोलॉजी की वजह से डिसमिनेशन ही चेंज नहीं हुआ कंटेंट्स आल्सो गॉट चेंज तो वही पॉडकास्टिंग हुआ पॉडकास्टिंग में नाउ इतने तरह के जॉनर्स हैं इतनी वैरायटी है इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्पोकन वर्ड्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ म्यूजिक इन टर्म्स ऑफ कंटेंट जो रेडियो में कभी नहीं था so all this has become possible with the help of technology right now uh, if i uh, talk about television television is the same story it is started in the terrestrial format then satellite communication came right from 1950 time till date and then internet came. right now with the help of internet the the reach of the programs of television news channels have traveled a lot now uh, as the earlier speakers were referring to as to how the the, the contents have transformed uh, with technology now there is another thing which must be understood in today's time uh, though we talk about radio like as i'm talking about radio uh, and the podcasting we talk about television and the con- uh, And, and the television content, the changes which are happening, but in fact we have to understand this that this kind of segregation of print versus radio versus television uh, is not working in today's time because every media platform using the digital technology. तो अगर एक आपका न्यूज़पेपर भी है तो वो उसकी वेबसाइट है जहां पर वो न्यूज़पेपर दिन में बीस बार अपडेट होता है तो अब ये नहीं है कि चौबीस घंटे में आपको एक न्यूज़पेपर मिलेगा और एवरी मॉर्निंग यू विल बी रीडिंग इट तो आप टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया की वेबसाइट पे जाइए ऑल द टाइम देर आर अपडेट्स तो अपडेट कॉन्टेंट आपको मिल सेम इज बींग डन तो हर एक जो प्रिंट मीडिया है जो न्यूज है वो उसका डिजिटल प्रेजेंस है हर एक जो टेलीविजन न्यूज चैनल्स हैं उनका डिजिटल मीडिया पे प्रेजेंस है आई मीन टू द एक्सटेंट दैट ऑल बिग टेलीविजन न्यूज चैनल्स दे हैव सेट अप देयर डिजिटल विंग व्हिच इज एज स्ट्रांग एज देयर देयर टेलीविजन राइट सो सेम इज विद रेडियो जैसे अभी मैंने एग्जांपल दिया आपको एनी कंटेंट दैट यू वांट टू वॉच ऑफ एनी चैनल एनी प्राइवेट एफ एम चैनल और ऑफ आकाशवाणी प्रोग्राम्स ऑफ डिफरेंट सिटी बेस्ड चैनल और द प्रोग्राम्स ऑफ डिफरेंट चैनल मीन्स राइट फ्रॉम एफ एम गोल्ड टू रेनबो टू विविध भारती ऑल दोज कॉन्टेंट्स आर अवेलेबल नाउ टू एवरीबडी फ्रॉम एनी पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया और ऑक्सटेंट 
So that's the kind of transformation uh, which has happened with the uh, with the with the, with the advent of these uh, uh, the latest technologies which we all use. Now uh, the final thing I will tell you. Now what is happening? Though we all are familiar with this, but since I'm telling you this way, then your view will have a clarity on this. Uh, there are no segregations now. There is a multimedia thing where in, like if you take the example, for instance, of wire. Uh, are you familiar with wire? Yes. So what is happening? Uh, it's a digital uh, platform, digital news platform which is an independent digital news news platform. There, there are two types of uh, uh, news-based platforms. One is, I gave you example, ki, uh, Times of India can be digital presence, uh, Aaj ki bhi digital presence, hai. but then they are basically into print, but they their presence is on the digital. Or there's a television channel, a satellite television channel, but uski presence digital. Hai. Now, there are certain uh, news platforms which serve digital presence. Hai. They, are, they, they have a digital entity only. Right? So, wire or news laundry or the print, I mean, there are so many uh, such digital platforms out there. Now, what they do? They provide their contents both uh, in the print form in, in the works which are published. They also provide their contents in audio form. They also provide their contents in video form. So the earlier separation of print, radio, television, that's no more there in today's time. Right? And all this has become possible with the help of the digital transformation. So uh, we do not know as to what will happen in, uh, in tomorrow. Obviously, today we everybody is talking about AI. Uh, though AI is, is still to evolve, uh, we do not know how much uh, impact AI will make on news, except what we all are watching. Ki Robo hoga jo aapko news parke sunayega, so that, that kind of anchors will be there. But uh, in respect to all these uh, um, experiments, what serious impact AI will make on the news media, uh, we do not know. But then, whatever technology will emerge or which, which evolve in the years to come, that will make an impact on uh, the, the format and the shape of media, the contents, the delivery and everything, right? Uh, delivery is so much important uh, based on the content, you must not be uh, familiar. There's one area in television, uh, which is called distribution, right? Anybody is aware? What exactly is the distribution? Okay, so that's a very less talked about uh, aspect of television uh, but then uh, all bigger channels they invest huge sums only in distribution so the success of a satellite television channel depends how strong its distribution network is and it's very very costly i mean if i can use a, a rough estimate any channel like uh, ashtak or any any such channel they might be spending at least a crore of uh, rupees every month or even more than that only on distribution, right? So distribution, because whatever good contents you are making, any television channel is making, if the channel is not being seen by the people, how will you market your channel? How will you make your revenues and all? So distribution is very, so again, the, 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 the technology comes in uh, when we, we talk about the distribution of the contents. So that is uh, what I could uh, tell you. I'm not making a long lecture on this. So I try to summarize as much as possible. Uh, so any, any question is welcome because any good thing uh, can emerge from any lecture, which I believe uh, wherein there are some good questions. Because otherwise, it will be a one-sided communication. And whatever changes we are talking about are happening on the media spectrum. If it remains one-sided communication, then we defeat uh, uh, basically what we preach or what we teach. Uh, because communication can never, because internet, uh, if I put it in purely academic terms or more functional terms, what internet has done uh, to the present uh, times is that it has democratized the communication. 
I mean, good or bad. But then it has democratized the communication. Communication is uh, no more the the monopoly of big newspapers or big channels and all any citizen can create the content you have the platform where you can create the content and you can catch the eyeballs and you can uh, uh, get your contents read you can uh, make your contents watched by the people and all so that is how the stupid communication is any education also uh, whatever later latest changes are happening in the world it all talks about uh, this uh, to make a communication, the participatory communication, or the, this whole learning-based uh, systems we talk about. So obviously, I would prefer if some good questions come, then I will be in a better uh, position to tell something more to you. Yeah. Hello, sir. My name is Pooja. And my question to you is that the new upcoming digital media is emerging, right? In all of the sectors of news, uh, whether it be uh, social media news or whether it be reporting from television or anything. So do you think the report, uh, even the AI anchors are there? So do you think that the upcoming new reporters do they have scope in journalism due yeah. to emerging digital media? Uh, technology is always helping us to grow. Uh, technology always makes the things easy, make the things better in terms of quality. Technology can never replace humans, right? Uh, and I can give you so many examples to prove this uh, point. When television came in, uh, basically, I will give the example in 1970s. 76, it was named as Dugdarshan. And in 1970s, uh, two things majorly happened when Dugdarshan emerged on the scene. One, every week, one film was being shown. Then, uska bada ke phir baat mein, do week, do ho gaya, phir teen ho gaya, hafte mein. To, us logo ko ghar baithe, जब एक भी मिल रही थी तो महीने में चार फिल्में देख रहे थे सर ठीक है फिर आठ देखने लगे चित्रहार आता था जो सभी लोग देखते थे इट वाज अ मस्ट वॉच फॉर एवरीवन तो जो फिल्म का कंटेंट था वो घर बैठे मिल गया थिएटर जाने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ी सो इन 1980s देयर वाज अ ह्यूज डिबेट ऑन दिस व्हाट विल हैपन टू थिएटर्स ठीक है सो एवरीवन एंड दैट हैपेंड आल्सो for some time, tamam jo theaters the, wo band ho gaye, wo cold storage ban gaye, sara kuch hua. It happened in a big way. But what happened finally? <laughs> Technology aayi, ab multiplexes aage. Toki jo uh, distribution ke jo ekna jo uh, Transmission ka tarika tha, viewing ka tarika tha, badal gaya technology ke saath. To technology ke saath, you may already I told you this, forms and shapes of a media platform will change. But it will never happen that some media vanishes away from the scene. Theek hai, internet a gaya, jaysa mein wire ka example diya. To sare content ek jaya pe a gaya, ye technology se hua. But as an video katam ho gaya, ya radio katam ho gaya, radio ho sakta to conventional format mein nahi ra, podcasting mein aagya, audio content mein aagya, but that will remain there. So technology will simply facilitate, will ensure an improvement in the working, in the generation of content, in the transmission of content, but it is not that something will disappear, something will shut, it will never happen. And particularly in journalism, uh, journalism, uh, when, when I say journalism, then it's uh, all about your uh, the, the knowledge. It's all about the information which you are trying to communicate to the people, to tell to the people. How will you do it? That can change. Jo, uh, uh, speaker, Jo Sankeetu, he was also referring to this. 60 minutes pe karna hai ki 90 minutes pe but then machine will never replace uh, the humans humans will remain there to jo chat gpt ki samasya hai isse bhi koi impact nahi padne wala hai theek hai suppose jo abhi mere bhi bahut sare students karte hain hum newsletter nikalte hain to i started a column 
माई आइडिया ऑफ इंडिया सो माई थॉट वॉज कि सारे लोग इंडिया के को जैसे कंसीव करते हैं जैसा इंडिया चाहते हैं उसके बारे में दो सौ वर्ड मुझे लिख के दे पब्लिश इट तो इनिशियली तो कुछ समय महीने तक ठीक चला बाद में मुझे कुछ बहुत अच्छे अच्छे पीसेस मिले सो आई वॉज वेरी हैप्पी कि हमारे स्टूडेंट को इतना अच्छा लिखने लगे देन वन डे आई डिस्कवर्ड कि दो स्टूडेंट ने दिया और वो सेम कॉपी थी देन मुझे टाइम लगा समझने में कि चैट जीबीटी का खेल हो रहा है यहाँ पे नाउ यहाँ तो कर लिया अब सपोज मैं आई एम हायरिंग सम पीपल इन एनी मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म and whether digital or television or print and i uh, yeah, ask 10 people or I mean, 10 people have approached me aur maine usko sabko bulaya aur unko ek topic diya aur kaha 200 words likh ke dikha ab chat gpt kya karega jo wahan likh payega usko job mil jayega nahi nahi milega to technology kya karegi technology help karegi aapki बट आप माने कि टेक्नोलॉजी आपकी जगह आपको अंग्रेजी नहीं आती आपको लिखना नहीं आता चेट जीबीटी से आपका काम चल जाएगा दैट विल नेवर हैपन तो टेक्नोलॉजी इज अ गुड थिंग टेक्नोलॉजी जब भी टेक्नोलॉजी आएगी चेंजेस आएंगे सोसाइटी में एंड जब अच्छे चेंजेस आएंगे कुछ उसकी डार्कर साइड भी होगी वी हैव टू बीयर विद दैट एंड वी हैव टू लर्न हाउ टू मेक द द बेटर यूज ऑफ द टेक्नोलॉजी बट देन टेक्नोलॉजी कभी भी रिप्लेस नहीं करेगी तो नौकरी के को, कोई खतरा नहीं अगर आपके पास काबिलियत है तो नौकरी मिलेगी वो कोई प्रॉब्लम थैंक यू सो मच गुड मॉर्निंग सर सॉरी गुड आफ्टरनून व्हाट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स वर फेस्ड ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम व्हाइल सेटिंग अप अ रेडियो चैनल्स व्हिच टाइम व्हिच ईयर व्हाइल ऑन द स्टार्टिंग एज स्टार्टिंग एयर ऑफ रेडियो चलो ठीक है जब स्टार्टिंग हुई रेडियो की और प्राइवेट चैनल्स चैनल्स मतलब हम कहते हैं आज के कॉन्टेक्ट में स्टेशन बींग यूज सो इनिशियली जो प्राइवेट एंटरप्रीन्योर्स थे बॉम्बे से ही शुरू हुआ आई बिलीव द फर्स्ट रेडियो स्टेशन तो उनके दिमाग में ये था कि हम थोड़ा ब्रॉडकास्टिंग करेंगे कुछ लोगों तक इंफॉर्मेशन पहुँचाएंगे एंड वी ऑल्सो अर्न सम मनी माइंड इट मीडिया वॉज ऑलवेज बिजनेस अगर कोई भी लोग तुम्हें बताते हैं कि अब बिजनेस हो गया इसलिए खराब मीडिया में प्रॉब्लम आ गई दिस इज कम्प्लीटली मिसकनसेप्शन मीडिया क्योंकि क्यों बिजनेस था बिकॉज मीडिया किसी भी लेवल पे किसी भी टाइम में था टिक्की से लेके रेडियो के आने से लेके आज तक दैट इन्वॉल्व सम इन्वेस्टमेंट सम मनी तो अगर सब कुछ पैसा लगाया तो रिटर्न नहीं आएगा तो बंद हो जाएगा कुछ दिन चुका द सेम एवेंट विद रेडियो तो जिन जिन जो रेडियो क्लब्स थे जिन्होंने शुरू किया रेडियो स्टेशन वो चला नहीं किसी का क्यों नहीं चला क्योंकि वो कितना पैसा आप डालते जाएंगे कहीं से मिलना तो था नहीं सुनने वाला तो पैसा देगा नहीं सुनने वाले से पैसा लेने का भी कोई सिस्टम नहीं था बिल्कुल इनिशियल स्टेज में तो साल दो साल में सब बंद हो गया देन इन नाइनटीन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दे थॉट वहां पर कुछ लोगों ने प्रपोज किया कि लेट एस टेक इट ओवर बिकॉज वी कैन यूज इट फॉर आवर प्रोपेगेंडा अगेन तो प्रोपेगेंडा जो अभी दो हजार तेईस में होता है सरकारें करती हैं वो उन्नीस सौ तीस में भी हो रहा था कोई चेंज नहीं टेक्नोलॉजी बदली है बस बट बाकी सब से नहीं तो ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट में कुछ अधिकारियों ने ये प्लान किया कि अगर हम रेडियो को टेक ओवर कर लेते हैं तो हमारा प्रोपेगेंडा आसान हो जाएगा और हमें थोड़ा कंसोलिडेशन में आसानी होगी इंडिया पे दो देर वॉज डिफरेंस ऑफ ओपिनियन देर वॉज समर ऑफिसर्स हुर ऑफ द व्यू की ये वेस्ट है कोई फायदा नहीं है एनी वे नाइनटीन में ब्रिटिश uh, गवर्नमेंट ने टेक ओवर कर लिया दो साल चलाया और जब उनका काफी पैसा खर्च हो गया तब तो उनको लगा कि ये सही था इसको लेना नहीं चाहिए था तो क्यों क्यों पैसा खर्च हुआ क्योंकि टेक्नोलॉजी है आपको रेडियो सेट भी चाहिए अब किसी के पास तो रेडियो सेट थे नहीं तो फिर रेडियो सेट यूरोप से मंगाए गए कुछ लोगों को रेडियो सेट बांटे गए फिर वो लोग सुनते थे पैसा कोई देता नहीं था पैसे का कोई सिस्टम नहीं था तो टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ देर इज ऑलवेज है कैसे करेंगे आप ठीक है तो ये प्रिविटिव टाइम में ये प्रॉब्लम थी फिर बाद में खैर ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट ने क्या किया जब काफी नुकसान हो गया एंड दे वर ट्राइंग टू क्लोज इट डाउन फिर ये आइडिया आया कि लाइसेंसिंग कर देते 
लाइसेंसिंग का मतलब अगर मुझे रेडियो सुनना है तो मैं लाइसेंस लूंगा सरकार से और लाइसेंस फी दूंगा सुनने का पैसा दूंगा सरकार ने किया तो उस समय रेडियो तो था जब सरकार से परमिशन ली आपने लाइसेंस लिया एज ए लिस्नर आपने लाइसेंस लिया फिर आपने एक महंगा सा सेट खरीदा तो महंगा सा सेट खरीदो रेडियो जो सेट्स थे वो बिकने लगे तो मुनाफा हुआ सरकार को तो इट्स ऑल अबाउट बिजनेस तो उसके बाद फिर भी वो चला नहीं रेडियो कभी भी बिजनेस मॉडल बन नहीं पाया पूरे ब्रिटिश पीरियड में नहीं बन पाया बहुत सारी रिपोर्ट्स हैं ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट की अलग अलग सालों में जो बार बार रिकमेंड हुआ कि बंद कर दो ये तो पैसा खर्च होता है और इससे कोई फायदा भी नहीं हो रहा है फिर जब गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया आई देन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया फोर्टी सेवन के बाद देन द गवर्नमेंट डिसाइडेड कि लेट अस यूज दिस एज ए टूल फॉर डेवलपमेंट एंड एग्रीकल्चर तो फिर तो वो उसका कम्युनिकेशन टूल हो गया फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ डेवलपमेंट बट वो भी सरकारी पैसे से ही चलता रहा तब तक जब तक कि प्राइवेटाइजेशन नहीं किया तो इसलिए प्राइवेटाइजेशन किया अब प्राइवेटाइजेशन करने के बाद भी जितने प्राइवेट एफएम स्टेशन हैं जब से शुरू हुए हैं आज तक सारे के सारे घाटे में चल रहे हैं नाउ अंडरस्टैंड द बिजनेस एस्पेक्ट सब घाटे में चल रहे हैं वही लोग सस्टेन कर पाए हैं प्राइवेट रेडियो के में जिनका मल्टीपल बिजनेसेस हैं चाहे मीडिया में चाहे मीडिया से बाहर ठीक है टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया है उनका न्यूज भी है उनका रेडियो चैनल भी है तो वो एक दूसरे को सपोर्ट कर बट इंडिपेंडेंट जितने प्राइवेट एफ एम चैनल है फर्स्ट लाइसेंसिंग के बाद भी लाइन से बंद हुए क्योंकि इट्स नॉट ए प्रॉफिट मेकिंग तो कोई भी मीडिया का प्लेटफॉर्म जो रिटर्न uh, नहीं दे सकता वो नहीं चलेगा चाहे वो uh, किसी बड़े ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की ओनरशिप हो चाहे सरकार की ओनरशिप हो चाहे इंडिविजुअल ओनरशिप हो चाहे कुछ चार लोग मिलकर शुरू कर लें वो नहीं चलेगा बिजनेस एस्पेक्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन मीडिया बोथ बिजनेस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बोथ द थिंग्स मस्ट बी अंडरस्टूड इफ यू आर वर्किंग इन द मीडिया सेक्टर Thank you, sir, for a very extensive session. Uh, now, as we move towards the valedictory, we have with us our chief guest, Mr. Deepak Kumar. I request sir to kindly come to the, on the dais, and also request Dr. Vidhi Rajura to accompany sir. working as a managing partner of Dentsu India with a professional experience spanning over 25 years sir has worked with leading media houses like midday hindustan times dainik bhaskar times of india large part of his career has been in setting up business practices and large format ips and creating many first for these companies he has worked across multiple brands and categories for the last 9 years He has been with Dentsu, working across multiple portfolios with the group. His current responsibility includes the Story Lab, Dentsu Sports, and Dentsu Gaming. Sir, it's a pleasure to have you here. I request sir to kindly address the audience.
Good afternoon. Not even with or without the mic. With, with, with mic. mic. Okay, yes, correct. So I, I like I like the back benches. They're the most silent type. Um, I hope um, I will speak up once in a while. I mean, I used to be a back bencher during my entire career, but I made sure that I made more than sufficient noise. Uh, data. Uh, amount of data I've got. I'm going to make you vomit. I've never seen so much of data during my uh, maths that I studied till up to 10 standard beyond that. Uh, I gave up on maths, or maybe a maths teacher gave up uh, uh, possibly on me. Uh, so <coughs> just, just maybe you guys want to react instead of showing PPT, we want to make it more interactive. We can talk and talk about what's happening in the industry that makes sense for you. So you can do that. Yes, no, or silence is a better option. Yes, sir. Yeah, Let's hear some noise. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. So I'm going to talk about, since we're talking about transformation, I'm going to talk about my personal uh, uh, career journey as to how it has transformed over a period of time. Uh, I set out to master myself in hotel management. Right. My parents spent a lot of money to send me to Manipal and make me a chef, uh, front office guy or whatever. Uh, but here I am selling uh, gaming sports uh, content, which is not no content, uh, no uh, connected to my data. Uh, I started from there, but I never worked in the hotel industry, right? My first stable job was in Tata Press Yellow Pages. You've seen those Yellow Pages directory? I think most of you would not know that it was a directory for a right? So I started off with that. Uh, so after being, you know, told that once you get out of this college, you're going to be blue cold, a uh, fancy five-star hotel, uh, talking to, you know, great people and saying, sir, how's your food? You know, are you feeling today? Right? So I didn't do those. I was starting at Karpa Devi Market. Uh, with a briefcase in hand and starting uh, trying to sell yellow pages ads over there. From there, I moved to Midday. Uh, Midday, interestingly, I did not sell what they're known for. That's their newspaper. But I set up different uh, business practices for them, uh, launching magazine, uh, setting up event, uh, event practice, right? So uh, outdoor business. I did all that, moved to Danny Baskar, uh, Hindustan Times, uh, Times of India, and then on to this. Right. So the thing is, the transformation or the change, like what people say is constant, right? So there's changes happening around you every point of time. You might be sitting over here feeling happy that you're listening to a lot of stuff over here. Outside, a lot of things are happening which you may or may not be aware of. Uh, I think some of you who are hooked onto the phone, they would know what's happening uh, outside around you in the world. Right. So let's let's look at what, what really is happening, right? What, as per you, uh, it was not put up. <laughs> Okay, so let's let's look at uh, at when do you consume media, right? What is media for you? Yeah, answer to What is media? Medium of speaking. Don't wait. Don't raise your hand. A medium which connects you to the world. Okay, medium that connects you to the world. Medium of information. Medium of information. No, no. Format or what? Format what is Print or newspaper or magazine or so. At what time do you consume media? Am I media? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Great. So you are you are consuming media at any point of time because you don't know when the media consumption is stopping and when you are or when you have become part of media. Right. So when you wear clothes with a brand name mentioned on it, you are a media, right? You are promoting that media for somebody in some in some format. So let's look at a day in your life, right? What are the different media touch points that you go through? You can make out what's written over here. You like come by a just this. So it's all about people and it's all about the places where you are and the different formats that of media that you consume. Right? Let's look at a bus stop, let's look at a pub, cafe airport, right? Even when you wake up, the first, uh, uh, you know, the alarm that rings, right? So that is Apple Watch saying, hey, wake up. It's time for you to get up. Yeah. So you are interacting with media at any and every point of time. But do you know what the media landscape looks like? Do you know how many television channels exist in India? Take a while, yes. 400. 400, 500, last benches, come on here. Perfect. So there are 900 TV channels that exist in the country. You want to guess how many publications that exist in this country? Quick, 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 quick. More than 100. 100, perfect. Next. 
Anybody can better hundred? Hey, come on here, guys. Hundred से थोड़ा सा ज़्यादा है. One twenty. Okay. So it's ninety nine thousand six hundred publication out of which thirty thousand dailies. Radio stations. Sir spoke about radio station. How many radio stations is there, sir? Hundred plus. Okay. बड़ा सेट सर लगी है ये हंड्रेड सुपर पड़े हैं क्या सो ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड रेडियो स्टेशंस फोर हंड्रेड प्राइवेट एफएन स्टेशंस सिनेमा हॉल्स वी ऑल आई मीन आई एम शर्ट यू वुड हैव वॉच जवान बाय नाउ सो वाउंड इन सिनेमा हॉल्स सिक्स थाउजेंड ओके गुड आई एम नाउ हियरिंग थाउजेंड अदरवाइज यू कैन गेटिंग स्टार्ट ऑन हंड्रेड सो ट इन आउट थाउजेंड मट्टी ओके इंटरनेट इंटरनेट मिलियन 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 हंड्रेड मिलियन इंटरनेट यूजर्स ठीक है एंड वी आर द वर्ल्ड्स इट स्टिल सेस सेकंड लार्जेस्ट वी आर द वर्ल्ड्स लीडिंग पॉपुलेशन कंट्री सो यू नो व्हाट वी आर डूइंग ओके सम मोर नंबर्स so despite so many media available to us right i've just listed few there are numerous media options that are available it's the audience base continues to grow like sir spoke but yeah koi media marta nahi hai media exist the consumer changes new consumer gets added up new media comes up it adds up to the new consumer right so it's 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 not ending it continues to grow the whole of numbers that you see over here in terms of viewers internet users print readers radio internet right so it's, it's crazy and who are these consumers people like you and me right who are consuming who's making that media successful or not right wo american ringila mein hona na apan public hai right remember the dialogue yes, right so that's 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 what the fact is and the time of amount of time that we spending in consuming this media is phenomenal right so now you divide this into your 24 hours of uh, uh, 8 hours of sleep plus whatever 16 hours of your Some some time. Look what they're doing, right? Thanks to uh, thanks to OTT platform. Thanks to OTT platform. Look at what you're coming doing to yourself, right? So you are consuming media. Sir spoke about you know that there's a business angle to it. Of course, there has to be a business angle. Otherwise, that media will not survive, right? It will fit. It will fit it down. It will die. Nothing would happen to it. And you would, as a consumer, not even bother to think about it because it is no more relevant to you, right? So that media. did not transform to make itself relevant to uh, to themselves right so it would it would become irrelevant right so people in the last bench they are busy because they feel i'm irrelevant to what i'm saying uh, please listen to me because in the end of the session you will have questions coming in your mobile phone and you need to answer those i'm serious right so so each media right in the current avatar is converging You need to converge. You need to change yourself, right? I adapted myself from what I was doing to what I'm doing currently. You need to adapt yourself, right? Today, your college is preparing you for the world, right? So they will do everything to get get you right. But it's also important for you to pick newer things and add value to yourself. Otherwise, you will end, right? So that's where we see a lot of conversion that's happening in media uh, in terms of you know uh, uh, look at the publications. so earlier they would sell only ads in the newspaper today they're saying boss i can give you wholesome solution why because i understand my consumer i know who's reading my newspaper i know where he lives i know kya kar raha hai wo i know wo kya kha raha hai i know se ghar mein tv kya hai basis that i'm saying i can help you connect with my consumer much better and you put money into me because i need to make my business sustainable i need to make my business relevant to the generation that's uh, that's coming the same thing uh, he spoke about uh, sir spoke about radio so there is spotify and gana who's kind of replacing radio radio aap kyun sunte the kyunki aapko gaane sunne hain aapko gaane sunne the wo keh raha hai ki yaar koi baat nahi karega hum aapko sirf gaane sunayenge right so that's how they've transformed like your platform like fintech pharma they were providing you solutions wo keh raha hai solution to de raha hu paise bhi ban sakte hain kyunki advertiser are saying ki boss people are coming out your platform i am good so they transform from being an information provider to becoming a marketing platform a uh, uh, marketing platform as well. right so each media each medium is converting into digital your tv to ott newspaper to digital news and radio to postcard like what uh, ambish sir spoke about 
Okay, so other thing that's happening to, to uh, for you to stay relevant in the business is the consolidation. Right, you heard about, I mean, I'm sure some of you would have possibly heard about Geo Cinema. You would have never thought of watching a sports on a, a platform called Cinema, right? But we are watching it. I'm frankly, but I think my content will be like Disney Hotstar used to be the undisputed leader. Geo comes in, disrupts the market. Disney Hotstar marries Apple. I don't know if it's, a, it's two years or two days old news. Right? So everybody's aligning with other people to make sure whatever is my shortcoming, the other person, um, or my arrangement to other person will be is that. Right? So that's that also is a, a, a type of transformation, which not necessarily is your own yes. capability. It's a capability that you're adding up by aligning to another, to another partner. The big networks are getting bigger, right? Meta at $1.97 billion, right? To Google at $1.7 billion, right? It's, it's, it's absolutely crazy. And the best part about us, by 2030, uh, uh, we'll be 77% 70, 70 of India's population will comprise of millennial, uh, millennials and Gen Z, right? So like people like you, uh, young, your younger brother, sister, right? So they're, they're, they're going to be the future of this country. But you know, what's the problem with millennials? Answer uh, <laughs> No attention span. No attention span. Perfect. Perfect. Who is that? <laughs> Sir, you answer me. Did <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So, I, I think low attention span. Your mic should be closer. We can't hear you. Okay. Is better now? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, low attention span. Hello. Here, here, rocks up and you I said. Okay. So, I'll. So, low attention span, right, is the biggest challenge, because the millennials they don't have patience, right? It's all about ki mujhe abhi chahiye, abhi mila, theek hai. Nahi mila, to damn it, not interested. I may may not come back over there. Right. So how do you how do you make sure this uh, uh, the generation that we're talking to who I need to market my product who's going to be the consumer of my product? How do I make sure that I'm that person is listening to me? What's the second problem? Hey, come on, tomorrow you have problem. Quick, quick, quick. We don't have time. Attention pan me okay here. I thought you will give this answer quickly. You all live in an Instagramable world, right? Matlab, cheez sundar dikhni chahiye. Yes. Right? So, among people taking each other's photograph. Right? So, which means for a media, it has to be in sync with that. Right? I need to look good. I need to look beautiful. I'm audible, right? Yes, sir. Last bench, I'm not giving any attention or interesting thing. Right? So, I think you have to take it otherwise. <laughs> so everything has to look beautiful, right? पहले हम शर्मा जी के तो talk to your parents दिल से कि हम शर्मा जी की दुकान पे जाते थे शर्मा जी कहते थे यार ये भाभी जी साड़ी ले लो लेके जाओ आप पैसे बाद में देना आप चिंता नहीं करिए और वो हस्बैंड बैठा था तो बोला आप चिंता नहीं करो भैया जी आप cold drink पीजिए चाय पीजिए भैया जी having चाय not Right. So now you walk into a shop, look at the way the shop is, right? You want to the store, the moment you walk in, somebody says, Sir, may I, can I help? Uh, can I help you? Right? He's out there to help you, guide you, correct you. Because if you have not transformed, right? Because they're giving you, making you feel nice, they're making you uh, feel better. So that's what that's how the transformation in that segment is happening. And the last part, third problem. The consumer loves to be engaged. Right? So moment consumer is making the brand is making you interact with it. The media is making you interact with it, right? So they will say, Adi story to that when you uh, click on to a Time Seven Day app, it gives you four lines. It makes you click, move on to the next moment you click, one ad pops up, right? So, 
एंड इफ यू मेक दैट जर्नी इंटरेस्टिंग राइट टूडे दर इज गेमिफिकेशन ऑफ एवरीथिंग कुछ भी करना बता रहे यार ये चार स्टेप करो तुम्हारे को ये मिलेगा यू आर हैप्पी डूइंग दैट बिकॉज इट इट कीप्स यू एंगेज द ब्रांड इज हैप्पी दैट आई होल्डिंग द अटेंशन ऑफ द कंज्यूमर दैट आई नीड टू नीड टू टॉक देन मूव ऑन टू सम ऑफ द मीडियम्स आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद प्रिंट फर्स्ट प्रिंट आई बीन ऑन प्रिंट बिजनेस एंड व्हेन द डॉट कॉम बूम स्टार्टेड Uh, we set up with this first uh, dot com portal. Uh, we did e-com at that point of time. We sold pizza uh, in uh, in uh, year two thousand, right? Uh, and we were successful with that. Not uh, that big, but today e-com is in a totally different league. So what's happened to the print? पहले क्या था न्यूज़पेपर आता था ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट. It became color. Then it said, "Boss, scan the QR code. Something will happen. You can read the news. Talk to the news, right?" And then Made it interactive. Uh, Sir spoke about how the print technology has improved, right? And it's gone berserk. While everybody says they write off uh, print, but the fact is, moment a new uh, digital company launches, their ad comes on Times of India front page. अगर आप future medium हो तो past medium पे क्यों depend कर रहे हो? नहीं करो. But fact in India, print will never die because we believe in written word. राइट right. आज आप बैठ के पूरा मैच देख लोगे इंडिया पाकिस्तान का कल का अखबार देख के आप पढ़ोगे ही कि यार क्या लिखा हुआ है राइट सो हियर इज एन एग्जांपल मनी हाइस्ट सुना है यस सर बस चार लोगों ने यस सर ग्रेट सो मनी हाइस्ट अमेजिंग वी ऑल रिलेट विद इट इट केम ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स उसका प्रिंट से कोई लेना देना नहीं था हाउ विल नाउ प्रिंट ट्रांसफॉर्म इटसेल्फ टू बी रेलिवेंट टू द ऑडियंस which will watch on ott platform may or may not be possibly a newspaper reader right so my kids don't believe in reading newspaper mere ghar pe char newspaper aate hain by default i mean because i've grown up uh, reading newspaper so i'm going to play a video for you of how uh, uh, hindustan times use an innovation uh, which uh, the technology the print uh, the printing technology permitted them to implement this right so have a look at this video so they made this self relevant for a medium or to the tg which may or may not would have i mean would have read a newspaper but look how they made this and relevant uh, uh, to the uh, to the market and if you look at pick up newspaper look at the kind of innovation that's possible right so there was a talking newspaper that volkswagen did some uh, 12 15 years back when you open the newspaper you could hear uh, to some uh, yeah so right i'll move on to the next medium this is the oldest medium Out of home, uh, एक जमाने में उसको आउटडोर बोलते थे फिर इट बिकेम बिल बोर्ड टू नाउ रेस्पेक्टफुली कॉल आउट ऑफ होम वो ना एक टाइम पे पेंट होता था फिर पोस्टर चिपकाने स्टार्ट हुए से लेकर के नाउ द टेक्नोलॉजी दैट हैज कम इन टू प्ले ऑन टू आउट ऑफ होम राइट how will they how are they making themselves relevant in the current setup i will share a recent example uh, number 2 if you looked at the uh, the type of billboard that exist right pehle to normal hote hai wo kapda phata phata wala phata wala nik toota dikh raha hai if you look at the uh, billboard which has got iphone ads on it right so they invest in recreating that structure right our companies work, works with them so they recreated the structure they were very clear as to how the audience mapping would happen how the audience will see it how the structure needs to be reset and how the printing work that uh, the creative that needs to go how it would look at right so good 5 6 months of r and d to finally decide where the ad would come in right so i'm going to play uh, one video of uh, uh, recently done activity so what outdoor has now started doing is ke boss main tumhara ad to chala dunga i can do certain innovation but i can add another interesting leg to it for more and more people to watch it and like i said it's all about instagram so how would people capture it and put it onto social media to help amplify the reach of the medium which would have been otherwise a local media so i'm going to play this video for you now
ओके गेस्ट लाइक दैट थैंक यू फॉर वेकिंग अप सो यू सीन दी आउट ऑफ फोर स्टैटिक बिलबोर्ड देर इज अव फॉर्मेट कॉल द डिजिटल आउट ऑफ फोर वो आपने देखे ना बिलबोर्ड जिसके ऊपर में स्क्रीन मूवमेंट यू कैन सी यू कैन सी वीडियोज एन ऑल दैट्स कॉल्ड डिजिटल आउट ऑफ फोर digital out of home works on the principle of internet right you can have it connected aap ek jagah baith kar ke you can push messages you can push creatives or you can make it interactive jaise digital hota hai na moment you do a search for you <coughs> uh, make my trip sorry so uh, when you do a search for internet on anything that ad starts following you similarly same thing thing can be done on digital out of home also right uh, it can give you messages based is the people who are there we can make it interactive right so that's what how digital uh, the out of home business has now transformed into digital out of home make it a more interactive making it more relevant to the audience which is present over there राइट right? एक जमाने में ना टू सेल न्यूज़पेपर न्यूज है कि हमारा कंज्यूमर इतना है नाउ इट्स बिकम अबाउट ऑडियंस व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इन दैट गिवन लोकेशन आई एम गोना प्ले वन वीडियो फॉर यू दिस इज द वर्क दैट वी आर डन सम एट टेन इयर्स बैक इन यूके सेम थिंग इज नाउ पॉसिबल हेयर इन इंडिया आई वुड हैव इंडिया वर्क ऑल्सो बट इफ यू लुक एट दिस बिकॉज टोटली आउट ऑफ दर्ल्ड सो एम गोना प्ले द नेक्स्ट वीडियो फॉर यू नाउ something similar uh, in delhi uh, for skoda car uh, uh, people from delhi would know that janpath wala road yes sir yeah. yeah. right? so as you move in straight more pe billboard hai so as the car comes in uh, the camera on the screen picks up the car uh, looks at the front grill which is a map and as the car comes into the range it tells you which car is there right only problem is um, because it gives you a good waiting times so we were able to uh, to maneuver that and we were able to target the cars uh, skoda car that we were uh, working for the brand right so it's giving you so the medium has transformed dramatically the other thing the medium which is a very local medium right uh, is now with these innovations you will convert this into one fancy looking video you will build pr around it which comes free of cost right and you are able to amplify what was uh, otherwise otherwise a localized act right so i'll move on to the next uh, part which is gaming is is pe to baat karne ki zarurat nahi i'm sure aap log ke paas mein games honge hi waise bhi 
using technology for good, right? How you can use it for the better man. So that's that's very important. And as you step into the world, right? And when you start facing, when you move outside of your comfort of your parents' home and the college, it's a different world, right? Thought process is very, very different. How you can use technology to help connect that? You're going to be working with one or the other brand. I think it's important how you make those things happen. How you help connect those dots are going to be very, very important. So learn, pick up things and see how a medium can help enable that. I think that's what would empower you as, as an individual or you as or you for your brand to make things happen. I'm going to move quickly on to the uh, metaverse. Metaverse, I'm sure um, you all are familiar with. Anybody been to metaverse? Not the spider-verse, uh, the metaverse. Meta. Of course. Hey, what are you talking about? media transformation? Kar rahe? Metaverse nahi hai. There was so much of noise around meta metaverse, right? So what is metaverse? It's your uh, parallel universe where you cannot be there physically, but you can be in over there, experience everything, right? Interact with people, create your own avatars and indulge in the activities, right? Uh, the Tokyo Gaming Show, only X number of people can attend. So Densu Gaming creates a VR of that. And it's got more number of people attending it on a virtual platform, interacting with what's happening over there and get a right out of it. Right, so all this metaverse, video calls and all, right, which we are now feel it's very, com we are comfortable with, which now become a norm. Today, a business presentation is happening on a video call, which you would have never thought of. So I'm gonna share one example done for a beer brand, which used to do street food festival pre-lockdown. Lockdown, it stopped. People cannot step out. How did we enable the uh, uh, and maintain the continuity of that uh, festival in a metaverse, right? So I'm going to play this uh, uh, video for you. Tiger is known for hosting iconic street food festivals. <coughs> think Tiger, think street food. But in 2020, the pandemic forced our audience off the streets. Tiger engaged itself with the world's first fully immersive virtual street food festival. It was personalized, socially entertaining, and Tiger Beer immersive. Order up beer and food online directly to your doorstep. The dates were set and everyone was invited. Buzz started to brew as Liz and Harvin spread the word. They even greeted our audience virtually. KL Foodie revealed hidden gems. Ads were served as real-time response. And we completed the online street food experience with live music. It became the talk of the town, exceeding all expectations. Tiger and local street food. Seamless media integration and conversion from online to offline, from virtual to the physical. Tiger Street Food Virtual Festival. Media bringing a virtually remote audience together for the love of Tiger with food. Some more time left, or I've overshot my. Should I? Should I? Okay, so uh, digital. I'm sure you all know about how we can use digital effectively, right? So there are multiple examples you would have seen in your own personal life as to how different companies are using digital to connect with the consumer, track the consumer behavior, push ads to them, right? So there's an amazing. I mean, uh, I think digital is something which even if we don't talk about, it would work. So I'm gonna. Uh, move uh, to the last part. So, you know, uh, quickly, the world is changing faster than what you think, right? So you might feel happy with what you know, but the fact is people around us are doing and thinking much more. Option is that you sit at a farmhouse, look at the star. Option is take uh, get Chandrayaan onto the moon, right? It's up to you where you want to be, what you want to do, and how you want to position yourself. Right, your college will prepare you for that. 
but how we exploit the learning and how you take it to the real world is up to uh, is up to you right so the ads once upon a time used to be 30 seconds 60 seconds now you got five seconds to convey the brand message right you play an ad on youtube after five minute communication changes that means you need to be very quick communication right so five seconds if I have to ask you what is your name, it will take more than five seconds, but five seconds the challenge for you to convey the, uh, convey the message. If you are not reinventing your history, that holds true for the brand, it holds true for you also. Right? If you are not in sync with what's happening in the market, nobody's interested in you. You will become an irrelevant uh, uh, past for them. Right? Technology is redefining everything has redefined everything will continue to refine uh, everything your consumers want things differently and they want it now either if you can able to deliver it to them now if you cannot then uh, then you are history because the future is here and the future is now thank you uh, it was worth your time i am not sure whether it was in sync with what you wanted uh, but I hope you all had in good sense. If you want to ask anything, uh, feel free to do uh, do that. Not sure I'll answer everything. Any questions? But you can make an attempt. Yes, ma'am. Mike is Hello, sir. Uh, my question is, is technology damaging our brain or you know, helping us? Okay, it's up to you what you're going to do with it. So technology will only enable you to do things better. Like Sir spoke in the last session, chat GPT is there, right? It's up to you whether you want to chat GPT to give you all the answer or you get the answer and get it fine tuned by chat GPT. When you go to interview, you don't want to go chat GPT, right? It's about you. Use it effectively, use it use it because you should know what it's going to do but don't depend upon it right use technology to your advantage but it should not become your limiting factor so i wanted to see the bot slide so uh, I'll, I'll share the i'll share the deck so see bot slide uh what's happening in the bot right uh okay so followers on the instagram fake followers on the instagram you heard of it so bollywood celebrities they boast of a lot of followers so one of the leading bollywood celebrity has got 40 percent watts right so that does not exist uh, people like us in advertising business, we pay money because they're putting an ad with the belief that they got so many followers, but they don't exist, right? Many times you'll find some random things coming in, right? Which are rare because they're bots who's doing a lot of stuff for you, but that not necessarily not uh, the right solution. It's a very short term play. Up use kar loge, survive kar loge, but for kya hoga? Ek time pe Twitter pe jo trending hota tha na, you could buy that. Would have paid money and said I'm trending on Twitter. Pizza like the thing, who would have uh, sat down and uh, uh, made sure that you're trending with the type of answer that you wanted them to. So oh, that's that's interesting, but I don't think that's a long term play. I, I think you're being unfair to yourself, you're being unfair to your product, and you're being unfair uh, to the consumers. If a deck and share for me, you can. That's it. It's a little bit of a question. It's a little bit of a question. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, thank you for this lovely afternoon. Thank you for inviting me.
uh, our guest, uh, Dr. Deepak Kumar, and uh, sorry, Mr. Deepak Kumar and Dr. Amisha Sena to kindly come on the dais. everybody. Now we've come to the end of a very, very hectic but a very fruitful six days to boot exchange session. I know for myself, I can speak for myself and all those in the room here, that it was one of the most fruitful sessions that we have had here. We've had a galaxy of speakers coming over who have given their views on various issues whether they are from outside or whether they are in-house teachers. So when we speak about our in-house teachers, they have spoken about uh, the advertising industry, how it has changed. We have also had fruitful case sessions which spoke about personality development. Then we had also uh, a meet the author session with Mr. Shuriji on the occasion of International Literacy Day. And after that, we had a very interesting session by Mitakshara Shirgaonkar, who surprisingly related tarot cards to personality development and how it could help us, how those numbers could help us develop and how we could gain insights into our personalities. What else was thrown in was a was exciting, exciting sightseeing tours to, to the Global Vipassana Center at Agoda and the Mumbai Darshan, which I am sure everybody enjoyed, or the exchange students enjoyed out here. And uh, despite the rain, despite the crowds, I see such bright, smiling faces out here today. Now to come to our sessions. From the very first day, our speakers, our guest speakers who came out here, they spoke about uh, artificial intelligence, how things are changing in the entire media landscape. And uh, some pictures that they painted were scary, some pictures that they painted were uh, the message that we got were told that we had to adapt. And some messages were that the human element cannot be reduced, cannot be removed. All right. So starting off with uh, Mr. Shubhajit Sengupta on the first day, he shed light on how artificial intelligence acts more like actual intelligence. It is scary, but at the same time, we have to understand it and we have to see how we can adapt to it. Again, we had Zoom TV music channel entertainer Yagnesh Chunamala, who spoke about his experiences and told us, yes, this is what 
happens with, uh, with music. This is what happens in a radio station. Again, again, we have artificial intelligence creeping in, but how we have to keep one step ahead of artificial uh, intelligence. Mr. Prati Bacharya from the Economic Times also gave us valuable insights into how reporting has changed. And of course, we had our faculty from Delhi, DNA Media School, Madhav, sir, who also spoke. Of course, he didn't speak about the change, but he showcased his abilities and the media school students' abilities about how they could we could do good for for the world, how we can showcase not only all that is good, all that is happening, but we should also look at the other side of the coin towards the underprivileged, the deprived, and the not so able. So I was amazed when he showed uh, when he showed what work he had done with the Olympics <coughs> to help in France. Now, coming down to the session we have had today. I must say it was a real eye opener for all of us here in Trout. It was really, really for me because from the first, we have been told that uh, the human element cannot change, but we have to adapt to it. Now, even when it came to making films, we had a sort of sir telling us that, okay, this uh, changes are there. We have to see uh, what artificial intelligence does, but it is only limited in scope because the human imagination is all powerful and it is all sorry. It cannot change the actual situation, the imaginations that we have. Now we had Mr. Sankir Varak who came in and who spoke about journalism and news gathering and the way news has changed. Now for us, he says, it's been a long journey, journey in India as far as disseminating news is concerned. Journalism uh, has become political. Now it, its vital role in uh, pre-independence India has changed now to being more propagandist and to playing to the political masters and also playing to what? To technology. The reels, uh, our, our attention spans are so little that we have to have news reels and those are the reels that are really, really telling us what is happening. Uh, Dr. Amrish Saxena also emphasized the fact that we are a technologically de driven society now because whatever change that take place in, in, in media, whether it is do digital media, sorry, whether it is radio, whether it is TV, whether it is print, has all become digital. And again, we have to, we have to uh, see that this multimedia uh, changes and these multimedia immersive technologies have to come reach the audience. But I must say, Deepak sir, you have really opened up new vistas in advertising for us. We never, never, ever thought that hoardings could be so interactive. They could be so real and that people could really stop and stare at such things, these novelties. I know in due course of time, these novelties will change. But again, we have to see that how we adapt and how we see to the situation. All I can think of at this time is Marshall Mecklenham. The medium is the message and the massage and that it is technology that drives us. And with that, I would like to say we have come to we have come to the end of our six day student exchange program. And to make this such a grand success, I want to thank all the staff and the students who have come over from Delhi, who have been so wonderful, who have been so cooperative. And who put up such a lovely cultural show for us. I can I still remember that puppet show. It was really 
things have to be done and at times he say yes she's a slave driver but anyway now i feel it's all done <laughs> Special thanks also to Anupam, who has come here specially and has seen that we have been doing well without a hitch. Saw to all the tech details. Of course, my students have done a great deal here. They have taken over everything, and of uh, and uh, uh, I must also thank uh, uh, what's his name? Ritansh. Is he here today, Ritansh? Ritansh was instrumental in getting Anish over. We had such a wonderful rocking afternoon that day. So I think it is something unforgettable that a department has done. The college has always done such things, but the department has never done such things. With this, now I I close conclude the session and I give the stage back to Muriel. Our BMM department have a short video which they want to show uh, to the audience. Thank you. 
So I would like to address something. The another video which we'll be showing is about BMMC, that is Blue Mangoes Media Club. What media does, what media department does, and what we all the committee members, and apart from that, where we participate and where we go in national and intercollegiate, uh, national and international intercollegiate fests. So here we present. जी भर के जीलो इंडिया हो, घूमो, फोटोस कीचो, वीडियोस बनाओ, पर जितना बटोर सकते हो, इन यादों को बटोर, क्योंकि इसके बाद जिंदगी पूरी तरह से बदलने वाली है तुम्हें, ये दिन याद आएंगे तुम्हें, ये दिन कब लौट करने I would uh, now request Dr. Uh, Mr. Deepak Kumar to kindly come ahead and Amrish felicitate Dr. Amrish Saxena. Manasi Maheshwari. 
and Mr. Madhav Sharma. The goodies have been handmade by our student from SYBAMMC, uh, Ms. Riya Bhatt, and the welcome goodies were made by Krishna Soman. Now I invite uh, the students. Uh, I request uh, Dr. Vaiba Asher to kindly felicitate the students. Paris Kaldra. आधार सेठी विनायक यादव अनिवेश सिंह विनायक स्माइल
between D.K. Shroff College of Arts of Kandivari Education Society and Delhi Metropolitan Education, DME, located in Delhi National Capital Region. I am grateful to Professor Lily Bhushan, principal of the Shroff College, and Dr. Vidhi Rajora, head of the Department of Multimedia and Mass Communication, for the signing of an MOU between the two colleges. me for this student exchange program. I am also thankful to Dr. Ambarish Saxena, Professor and Dean of DME Media School and Director of DME Studios and Production, who played an important role in this collaboration. Today is the word of collaboration and DME strongly believes that through collaboration even an impossible task can be achieved. DME Media School organizes an international conference ICANN every year in which almost 20 partners are always there. This year we organized sixth edition of ICANN as a staggered co-location conference in which two day sessions were conducted in DME, one day in Manav Rajna International Institute of Research and Studies, Faridabad, two days in Makhala Chaturvedi National University of Journalism and Communication, Bhopal, and two days in Dapoda International University, Dhaka, Bangladesh. In December this year, DME is organizing the fifth edition of the International Film Festival in collaboration with Deakin University, Melbourne, Australia, and University of Nottingham, China. In the last edition of CP, we received more than 3,500 films from 117 countries. I call upon on the media students of Shrock College to submit their films in this festival. Yeah. This student exchange program is a great beginning for all of us. DME is gathered to host the students of the Department of Multimedia and Mass Communications are part of this student exchange program in the last week of this month. We have already worked out the details and we are committed to give the students once in a lifetime experience in DME. I, along with my colleague Dr. Manasmi Maheshwari and Mr. Madhav Sharma, express our gratitude to all the faculty members for hosting our student in Shroff College. Thank you, thank you all of you. All पूरे छह दिन में बहुत अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस हुआ चाहे वो बाहर घूमना हो या सेशंस अटेंड करने हो सब कुछ बहुत बहुत ही अच्छा था एंड जो स्टूडेंट्स की टीम है उनके लिए विशेष तौर से बहुत बहुत थैंक यू है बहुत बड़ा सा थैंक यू है कि हमने पूरी टाइम हम लोगों को पूरी तरह से अटेंड किया कोशिश करेंगे कि हम भी आप लोगों को इस DMA Media School wishes to present a book to Mr. Deepak Kumar. Copy to Dr. Vadi Rajora and the library of KES College. Yes. 